is um, Bill, Bill Carpenter to me. I met Bill in 1984 in the, at Mississippi State uh, University. It was my first opportunity to teach architecture in studio. And um, I met Bill there. He was in, in my studio. And he was, um, he was a bit rowdy, but <laughs> as he still is. And, uh, but he was a very intense student. So what I've seen happen with Bill, he went from Bill, the rowdy undergraduate student, uh, to Virginia Tech, where he got his master's degree. And then he went on and earned his PhD in architecture from Birming the Birmingham Institute of Art and Design in uh, Birmingham, England. And so now I have to call him Dr. Bill. <laughs> and I'm very proud of what he's done. Uh, Bill is the sole um, owner or, and founder of um, what he calls Lightroom Studio, which is based here in Atlanta. And it's a multifaceted um, studio. Not only is it architecture, but it's also um, focused on filmmaking, graphics, website, and, and much more. And he'll tell you about this. But Bill is also... Um, a teacher, a longtime teacher. He received the um, National ACSA AIAS Educator of the Year Award in 2000. That's no small feat, I'll tell you. Um, he's also an author, and he has a very uh, important book called Learning by Building, Design and Construction in Architectural Education. Um, and um, this was the focus of his thesis work, and, and this book was the outcome of that, and is an important piece. And Bill is so diverse uh, in what he, what he does. He's a professional activist. He was president of the Georgia AIA. Um, he's, he studied with uh, Sambo Mockby at uh, the Rural Studio. He, um, he's impressive all around. <laughs> so with that, um, uh, well, I didn't mention any of the awards uh, that Bill's work has gleaned, but rest assured that, that there's, there's a tall stack of them there. And um, Bill is, uh, is such an exciting person to have here in Atlanta uh, doing all that he does. So with that, um, I think that I'll leave the podium and we'll turn it over to Oscar <coughs> and then Amy and then Bill. And then we'll all come back after the presentations and have a bit of a round table discussion and uh, some question and answer. Thank you very much, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I am, I'm very excited to be here today. I'd like to thank the, uh, the High for this opportunity. I'd like to thank the AIA. I'd like to thank Dan very much for inviting me here. And uh, I'm going to talk about my own experiences in the field of art and architecture. Um, and I think that's the best way I can explain what I've been doing. Uh, now, let me see here. I got to see if it's a pointer here. Oops. Does this, did you do that or did I, huh? <laughs> I did that? Okay. Is this a pointer here? How's the pointer work? It's the red one. Oh, the red one. Okay. Thank you. I need to know what that is. Okay. Um, let's go, Todd, the first slide. This is, uh, I started off actually, uh, this is a painting that I did when I was five years old, five or six years old, and surprisingly enough, it's of architecture, and at that point, I did not know I wanted to be an architect, but I was doing buildings even then. And one thing I want you to take note of the, the color, because it's been very interesting, because I've had to go back and look through a whole lot of my uh, things to come to this presentation, so I've found out a lot about myself. So. Uh, I didn't realize this my own self. So uh, this is one of my first uh, paintings uh, coming from the soul of a five-year-old. Next. This is a sketch I did at 10 years old. Um, I went to uh, 
Disney World. Uh, while I was at Disney World, I met Mr. Walt Disney himself. And Walt Disney himself signed this thing and he said to me, you're doing a great job, keep up the good work. And that got me enthused to keep on uh, drawing. Next. Uh, so these are just a few of the early uh, pencil sketches that I was doing, uh, probably like 10 and 12 years old. And then I uh, really didn't realize I'd been drawing since all that time. So next. Um, that's my mother right here, and that's me. And uh, the interesting thing is about this is that this is in 1953. My mother and myself and her friend, we went from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Paris on a prop airplane. This is a prop 